Starman Podcast. Hello and welcome to Starman Talk and Talks. I am your host, Devin. With me is Billy, Cody, and David. Woo! Hey, everybody. Greetings to everyone. Hey, guys, to start off, we're going to talk about parody songs. Nice. Or comical music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, we got to mention Weird Al. Oh, Get God, that out of the way right now. Weird Al. Oh, yes. Moving on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're like contractually obligated to say Weird Al when you mention parody songs. Yeah. Mm. Well, he's pretty much made a living out of that, hasn't he? That is his job. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he, uh, he took some of my money when I saw him in concerts. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And Ray Stevens. Oh, Ray. Oh, God. It's like. <laughs> and like. Like, and the guy started out singing like gospel and like. Songs then transitioned into comedy. Yeah, I mean, because I know you always like this song Misty. Yep. There goes the streak. Yep. Oh, hey, excuse me, sir. Did you see what happened? Mm-hmm. You know what? I like. I love the yeah. streak, but it's not my favorite song of his. It's like one of the least favorites. Okay. Shriner's Convention is one that I like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, like it's like it's like Bubba Coy. Yeah. It's like, come on, Bubba. How do you get that big early apple? On the high dive. <laughs> Mine beats a toss up between Mississippi Scroll of the Bible. Yep. And Sit Up with the Dead. Yeah. Yes. Anyone else have favorite songs? Not from Ray Stevens, but just parody songs. Camp Granada? <laughs> Is that a parody song? No, but it's a comedy song. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I know it's got referenced a lot. Yeah. Well, I thought it was a Simpsons thing until I saw it on King of Queens. Oh, well, I knew it was an was, actual song. Yeah. I knew it was an actual song, but I just didn't realize it was like a parody, like a comedy song of its own. Yeah. I thought just Simpsons played it ironically. Yeah. <laughs> Eat it. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a Weird Al. Yeah. Sorry, I was trying to avoid a Weird Al there. <laughs> yeah. I know, because we could just be here all day just oh, talking yeah. Weird Al. Yeah. That's kind of why I was like, throw him in and yeah. move on. Nothing wrong with the guy. I love him. He's actually the greatest thing I've ever yes. listened to. Yes, like, I'm not denying it. I'm yeah. not denying it. But we could probably do a whole episode so, just on him. Well, don't talk too much about Weird Al. I would just uh, country comedy cousin, Cletus D. Judd. See, I've never heard of this guy. Yeah, no, he's like, um, he's Billy described as the widow of country music. <laughs> was, uh, some of the songs, he did a, a parody of the song, uh, for, she thinks I'm attractive sexy. His parody song is, my son only thinks I'm sexy. Okay. Then, uh, uh, for, there's one for uh, Goodbye Earl and uh, this thing is Goodbye Squirrel about two idiot buddies hunting trying to kill a squirrel and surprisingly he paired um, uh, Don Michael Montgomery who's um, uh, sold the Glendon County auction he was able to uh, get two parody songs out of that one song which is pretty impressive mm-hmm Yeah, no, it's and this mother of uh, it is a parody of Grandma got one over by a reindeer. Yeah. Grandpa got one over by a John Deere. Yeah, <laughs> I have actually heard of that one. Yeah. Um, one of my favorites is Rob Balder. He does um mostly in the video game genre of parody but yeah. he did uh, like another stupid decade a net hack yeah. tribute song uh still annoyed which is a parody of still alive but it's done in bowser's viewpoint yeah. okay um i'm gonna procrastinate <laughs> which is a parody song of i'm gonna procreate <laughs> Uh, 
Those are the main three I can remember. Oh, uh, Muppet Laboratories is the fourth one I oh. remember. Oh, nice. Lonely Island. Lonely Island, yeah. Yeah, and just what Saturdays just as a original YouTube video, and they started doing them on SNL. Yeah. Neat. <laughs> the ticket box. Come on, that's yeah. like I like they had no idea how like how much that was going to take off, and I think this in when Justin Timberlake came back to host this next time. They said, we're having these guys back. I was like, because they're not going to be expecting it. Yeah. And they turned into a three song story arc. Yeah. Dave and Cody, you guys got anything else? <laughs> I can't think of any more. In terms of comedy? Yeah. It's a very freaking Christmas. Oh. Dennis Leary. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of it anymore. I don't really listen to many parody musics. Yeah, you love it when I play mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, are they parodies? A lot of my songs are. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good. Okay, then. Yeah, we just didn't know it. Yeah. <laughs> like Star Bomb and Ninja Sex Party. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Let's go with those. I do enjoy those. Name one song from the uh, Star Bomb. The only one I remember, if this is them. That legend is other one? Was that one? They had The Sword? Yeah, but like what's the actual name of the I'm not letting you off the hook that easy. And, <laughs> come on, you, don't go and take this? Right? No? no. <laughs> I don't know. He's just grasping his straws <laughs> and just sinking deeper and deeper. He's like falling off that ladder. Yeah. Like off a helicopter, he's like just hanging onto the bottom run, trying to climb up, but falling back on the first round. Oh no, no, I, I jumped off the ladder. Yeah, now you're falling and plummeting. Yeah, hitting every branch on the way down. Yeah. Yep. Minecraft is for everyone. That is the song, and that's there. the title. Yeah. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Is the name of the song you were trying to say. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> you can't take credit for that, Cody. You didn't I'm get not it. taking credit for that. Uh, another song popped up in my head and we're not going to discuss it. <laughs> then why bring it up? Too late, Cody. Yeah, now you gotta mention it at least. Okay. Uh, a song that like I've heard before the internet is meant is for... Oh, uh, okay. yeah. yeah. We'll cut you off. Later. Yes! <laughs> Avenue Q, everyone, if you want to know what that song is. Yeah. Uh, Avenue Q. <laughs> I, yeah, I could be here, sitting here all day talking about Star Bomb and just like oh, is. I'm yeah. sure you can sit here and talk about. Oh, Ray Stevens. Ray like, Stevens. Oh, come on, like, I even, I even had his, uh, the musical movie he made. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Dave, you haven't really contributed much. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> just not a parody guy, or just... I just can't think of any other right now. I don't, it's, I've been, it's been a while since I've listened to a lot of parody songs, guys, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you, you don't strike me as the musical, like, yeah. listen to music constantly yeah. kind of guy. I like rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the rhythm and the beat, so you can... Yeah, I can't even rhyme. I'm not even going to attempt that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
give me like five minutes to write that in and prepare it. Then maybe I'll have something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to ask you this, Dan, just for a future thing down the road. Do you have to see the music video for Sharma's Convention? No, I have not. That might be something I would have to show you. All right. I'm sure I could look this up too. But it's coming from me. Come on. I don't, want, I don't want anything coming from you. <laughs> oh, music videos. Those were a dying thing. Oh. Yeah. Well, oh, no, they're not. No. Actually, they're more prevalent now. Yep. Yeah. Yes, into music videos. That's... Yeah, they just switched to formats. Yeah. Mediums, there you go. I have a question. What's the weirdest music video you guys have seen? Um, Technological by Daft Punk. Okay. Just creepy robots. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anything <laughs> by the Blue Men. Yeah. yeah? I guess for me it would be that well, the one that was disturbing was the Turn Down for What song. The music video for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Things were moving that weren't supposed to be moving. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. All the wrong things are jingling. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I never actually watched that video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, like I said, the weird music videos, like the weird, but I still like them. Off wall. Alright. Okay. You're good. Yeah. I like them. Is Aqua still around? Yeah, I was uh, saw them in concert a while ago. Alright. But I mean, are they still producing new songs? Yeah, they produced. Like, I mean, back to the 80s, and there was a. Because I know they got popular with the Barbie Girl one. Oh, yeah, that was like. That was a, that was a hype in the late 90s. Yeah. Who's that? Music videos. The animated music videos. Yeah, no. Those were really good. Yeah. We were talking about weird ones, though, not yeah. well made ones. Uh, yeah, very <laughs> nice. I guess we can go to well made ones. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> 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 no, I'm trying to think of like. Um. See, a lot of mine are just like a fan did it or it's an AMV uh, yeah. or something. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Does anyone remember when they try to do, try to tell a story during the music video? Yeah, that's a lot of old country songs did that. I thought. <laughs> No, I mean, like, they would just freeze the song for a minute just to do this dialogue. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, I don't remember this. Mm -hmm. Um, gosh. They did it a f a f at a certain point, I think early 2000s, but they stopped. Yeah. Okay, I did not know that. Uh -huh. Then again, I don't watch a lot of music videos. Uh -huh. I'm a, I put the headset on and just do something else while the music's in the background. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> He's got the music in them. <laughs> I got the music in me. <laughs> So, I guess I'll just ask the question, even though this is really a topic, but uh, what makes the parody song so great? Oh, well, yeah. Well, it definitely has to be catchy. Yes. Very true. It has to be catchy. Yeah. Um, it does have to parody a song that everyone kind of knows. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's <laughs> gotta be like a well-known like, song. Yeah. Yeah. And witty. It's gotta be witty and oh, fun. Oh, God, yeah. 
you gotta have something. What do you do? Annoy other people with when they're yeah. playing? They're singing the actual song. Yeah. Yeah. And you throw them off with the parody. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, nothing better than like someone singing the song, the original song, and then you just throw in the parody there. Oh know? yeah, just trip them right up. I <laughs> know. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's like tying someone's shoes together. Yeah. I know. Like, well, the parody song was like, so lame. How many times I would hear like the uh, the actual song, um, and you'll sing the parody. Yeah, because yeah. there was one song it was playing the it was. Uh, Bad, bad Lou or uh, Brown. So yeah, I was. Oh, it was the uh, Blue Jays parody of it. Okay. Mm-hmm. That was obscure. <laughs> That is very obscure. That's why we kind of moved off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows what you're talking about. Hey, it's still a parody song. Okay. Not... I'm not saying it's not. <laughs> it might be something for our viewers to look up, but... Yeah. Quiz time! <laughs> I thought you actually were going to yeah. quiz Billy. <laughs> oh, no. I meant for the audience. Yeah. What is the song Billy's talking about? <laughs> hey, because I was brought up as like, some dead songs. I'm like, the dead fairy songs. I'm like, what the hell are these? No, that's fair. Like, fairy songs are very personal, I find. Yeah. Because yeah. like, they relate yeah. to your sense of humor, yeah. not everyone's. So, yeah, I have a ton of songs that, like, Billy would not get the jokes yeah. of. Yeah. And Billy has a ton that I would not. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Actually, there was even a pair of this song, of the Ray Stevens song, on one of my uh, baseball c- CDs. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, I think the Ray Stevens song was Along Came Jones, mm-hmm. and this one was Along Came Joe. Okay. The, the baseball player. I'm like, took we got to laugh, but like, it took me a year to realize that that was the Ray Stevens parody. Oh, no. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, yeah. I know there's a ton of signs that it's like, wait, this is a parody of something? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? <laughs> That's like because it was comical and funny and witty. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one recently that I didn't realize, and God help me if I ever remember the name of the actual song that's parodying. Um, the Rob Balder song, uh, Another Stupid Decade, I never realized was actually par- the sound is actually parroting another song. Okay. Um, it might take me a minute to figure that one out. But yeah. Because I have that now both songs. Okay. Alright. Keep talking while I'm looking. Sorry, guys. Yeah. All right. Oh, I was going like, do like, parody songs, do like, comedy songs. Do when they do music videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, the... No, yeah. Those can be pretty damn funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, Pepper by the Butthole su- su- uh, Surfers. Yeah. <laughs> The what surfers? Yep, that's a band. <laughs> yeah, the butthole <laughs> surfers. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Interesting. Wait, the more you know. I don't know what song I think what time I uh, put the Beach Boys song, Surfing USS, Surfing USA. <laughs> yeah. It's not a period song, but it's like in the. So, it's the comedy song Bruce Stevens of Surfing USSR. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's technically a parody. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Uh, it's like. <laughs> okay, funniest music. Like, we're talking about the weirdest, funniest music video you ever saw. Huh. <laughs> Hmm. 
like an actual legit music video, not some fan made thing. Uh, no, for, for you, because yeah, like cause, I said, like like I said, that's gonna be the exception. Cause like yeah, most we've seen. Let me see if I can find one that's a little legit. Okay. Yeah. Um, you guys go around the room while I think. Good. I can't remember Derek's name, but it's one about this guy constantly cheating on his girlfriend. I can't remember any of the lyrics, okay. but it, it amused me. Okay. Gump. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they get it, Tom Hanks' brother for that one? I, I can't remember. Yeah. Well, whoever they got, he looked a lot like Tom Hanks. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> for me, it's always like a toss up between like two funny music videos, uh, both of Ray Stevens, the Mississippi Scroll Bible. Yeah. And Sin Up with the Dead. Fair enough. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I got nothing. Yeah. Um, unless we're talking the indie band, then, uh... Sure. Yeah. Life is Fun by, uh, Boy in the Band. Okay. Yeah, like I said, it's like, whatever, like, yeah. our own preferences. Right? Yeah, so. That one just... It had a fun vibe to it, but, like, it's a fun and negative yeah. contrast song. Right. <laughs> Kind of my problem is like I don't know a lot of like actual artists. It's yes. a lot of yeah. underground just yeah. other guys. That one like so that's failed. <laughs> I was on Paley was on Paley song video I saw like at the end of the video it's uh Sammy Kershaw's uh third great romance where it's like this guy's this girl's picking this old guy up in the bar and this Looks like this other guy's watching them. Oh yeah. And it's a, and the end of the music video is a setup. She, uh, the guy that was staying watching them at the bar is the getaway driver, and she like robs him. Oh. The old guy. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy just comes right out of the motel room, just like mad. <laughs> nice. So yeah, I try parody music all over the place, and it's just fun. Oh, and, and yeah, yeah, and like I said, it can be fun. Like it can be like a nostalgia trip because yeah. Oh, yeah, like like I said, when I listen to Ray Stevens, it just reminds me of my childhood. Yeah, yeah. I wore that comedy music video tape out. <laughs> oh, I know, I did with my yeah. cassette. <laughs> what the hell's a cassette, Devin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People like, wait, what? What ancient form of alien technology is this? <laughs> you put it in a device and you walk around with this. That's a Walkman. A what? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but pretty much we're going to be saying that with CD players soon. CD what? <laughs> Again, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's a book? <laughs> oh, heaven forbid if that ever happens. Oh. <laughs> oh, technology. Oh. You're, you're making too many things extinct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, people say, like, oh, get these e readers. Like, there's like, there's like a ton of money on books. Okay. No. <laughs> like, uh, someone got an e-reader and uh, they want to, you want to know, they want to try to get one of the books. So that they get, like free. Yeah. It was more expensive than actually going out and buying the book. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, isn't the e-reader supposed to have a library? So over in the long run, they'll probably save you money. Yeah. But that's in the long run. Yeah. yeah. You better love that you 
reader. <laughs> I like how they were like a rare thing and then like they started just giving it out as like door prizes. Yeah. Yeah, no, right? I know my work used to do that. <laughs> we don't want them. Get it. Here you have it. <laughs> you won this. Yay! <laughs> Yay. Oh boy, doorstops! <laughs> that was funny. You're like, "Yay!" What is it? All right, now where's the start button? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> you like turn? I was like, it doesn't do anything. It just sits there. <laughs> Where's the apps? <laughs> it's a Kindle, not a iPad. That it is less than useless. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, DVDs. <laughs> You're on your way out. I'm hanging on. I, I swear to God, I'll be hanging on for a while. <laughs> Wait, they are on their way. They're already on their way up Blu-ray. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone remember that fight between HD, DVD, and Blu-ray? Somewhat, yeah. but... I oh, well, I just remember was. the fight between VHS and Betamax. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the same thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that didn't last long. No. But yeah, I still remember the, at least two movies that we had on Beta. <laughs> Young Guns 2 and Toy Soldiers. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Laser disc. Yeah. That's... We're really going back there. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, was like the, the what was like double and triple the size of a DVD? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of the size of a... Pizza break. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, I was going to say record. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we could keep going, but yeah, I'll recover this in another topic, I'm sure. Alright. <laughs> we probably have. Yeah. yeah. But, eh, that's always fun to be business. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Oh, well, like, LPs are making a comeback, so. <laughs> Let's Plays? <laughs> You're asking the wrong person, Billy. Oh, yeah, we yeah, got one. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> like, I'm going to be well. Well protected, but uh, yeah, no. Like if I piss the youth off, I'm dead. Now, what does LB stand for in terms of music? Uh, L, I mean LP, uh, long play. Okay. So same with EP is extended play. Again, uh, like LP yeah. also, that's also a gaming term. Long play is also a gaming term. Mm. So I don't feel bad with my friend. Saw or uh, heard that Eminem is releasing, or I had an Eminem LP. He's like, What did he play? I was like, oh, His boy. music? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. That was how came about from music. No offense, guys. Yeah, no. <laughs> With that, though, we're going to call the episode. So, thank you all for listening. This has been uh, Starman Talk to Talks. I'm your host, Devin. Billy, don't look at the hole! Really? Be saved. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Devin, see you later. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>